Welcome to ECLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics. Topic for today is uh, trigonometric ratios and our subtopic is cosine of an acute angle. So we were able to derive the tangent of an acute angle and sine of an acute angle from a right angled triangle. So for today we are going to focus on how can we be able to calculate the cosine of an acute angle. So the cosine of an acute angle is the ratio of the side of the adjacent to uh, of the angle and hypotenuse. So remember for sine we said it's opposite of hypotenuse. Now it's going to be adjacent of hypotenuse. And this is going to be the formula that we are going to use. So if we use still the same example we had before, remember for us to calculate this, we said even if we give it the value of x, it's going to be x squared is equals to 5 squared plus 12 squared. So the square root of both sides gives us x is equals to the square root of 25 plus 144, which gives us the square root of 169, which is equals to 13 centimeters. So this is 13 centimeters. If we were to get the cos of x, we say the cos is adjacent, opposite was sine, so it's as adjacent, so this value here, which is 12, over the hypotenuse, which is 13. So when you do, what you do, uh, 12 divided by 13, you get 0 0.9 through 3, 1. You can also get uh, the cos of different angles in the same way we did with sine, so if we look at the cos of A1, it's going to be adjacent, which is 8, of hypotenuse, which is 10, which gives us 0 0.8. We said you can move this angle further, so you can talk about this angle. The adjacent of this angle is 6, of hypotenuse, which is 10. So cos of A2, alpha 2, is 6 over 10, which gives us 0 0.6. If we look at this angle, we can get the cos of um, this angle. So cos is going to be adjacent, which is 12 over hypotenuse, which is 13, which gives us 0 0.9231. The same case we can get for this angle. So it is cos which gives us adjacent, which is 5, over hypotenuse, which is 13. So 5 divided by 13 gives us 0 0.3846. Finally, um, uh, we look for this value using the Pythagoras theorem. We said it's going to be 13 squared is equals to 10 squared plus x squared. In the case of x squared, this is going to be our x squared. So this is the same as 13 squared minus 10 squared is equal to x squared. So when you do the square root of both sides, you get x is equal to the square root of 13 squared minus 10 squared. This is the square root of 169 minus 100, which gives you 69. So 169, the square root now of um, 69, which is 8.3. So this is 8.3. So if we look at cos of A1 first, it's going to be adjacent of hypotenuse. So it's 8.3 divided by 13. So 8.3 divided by 13 will give us 0 0.6385 and cos of A2, so A2 this is going to be adjacent is 10 over 13. See how different it is from sine, the one that we discussed before, so it is 0 0.7692. So that's how we calculate the uh, cost of angles. What about in the case where we have been told to draw accurately? So we use the same process that we used with sine. For example, you have been told to draw cos 30 and you have been given the hypotenuse. 
So first of all, you're going to draw a straight line and get a, a specific point on the straight line, for example, this point. Measure 30 degrees Celsius on this line and then use a line to extend to show that. So from this scissor to this scissor is 30 degrees Celsius. And since you have been given the hypotenuse, you measure the value you have been given for the hypotenuse and get a specific point on this line, for example. And then using that point, make an arc on the line, the horizontal line that you had before, and then you create a perpendicular bisector. So you have specific values for the hypotenuse. After you create a perpendicular bisector, you can now be able to measure the distance between this point that you started with and where the bi perpendicular bisector is. So we get the adjacent uh, uh, in process. Same case, if you are told to draw uh, cosine, you look for the value of cosine of x. If you are given cos cosine, cos of x is equal to 0 0.9. Remember, we say this is cos x is equal to 9 over 10. That tells you the hypotenuse is 10 centimeters. So you've already been given the hypotenuse. You have already been given the adjacent side. So you're going to draw still a straight line, and then you get a this straight line can be x, y, you get a specific point n and m. So you measure, because you have been given that, so adjacent, you measure 9 centimeters on n, m, and then you pick a point on m and you create a perpendicular bisector. When you create a perpendicular bisector, you you pick, you make, um you take your compass you open it up to 10 centimeters when you open it you you make an arc now using a compass beginning from this point on this line so that is a specific measurement this arc can come here or anywhere on this line where it reaches 10 so you join that line so you already have this which is 10 centimeters that means you're going to get this uh, value so we make sure you you measure measure the distance between m and n you're going to get this value so you can get the cos of this angle and you can also get the cos of this angle as well so that's how we use uh, we measure accurately the cosine of angles and the angle can be specific or you can be given an unknown so you can measure this angle using uh, calculations now that you have the two sides or you can measure it using the protractor as well so that's how we do that so you can get more uh, revision questions on the cosines or acute angles so sometimes you can have some unknown values maybe in a triangle and you're told to look for the known uh, from the unknown other times you can be told to draw so you need to be prepared and you know cosine and sine goes hard in hard so most of the questions usually come hand in hand together like in the exam so being able to see that relationship between sine and cosine later on we are going to introduce a concept of the complementary angles you notice there's a relationship between some angles of sine and some angles of cosine but it is good to see their specific uh, formula so that you can be able to use them either together or separately depending on the question that is being given you can also get more notes on this team on the app so see you in the next lesson Thank you.